All right, guys, welcome to my SBA2 scientific presentation. I'm doing it on the second law of thermodynamics, which deals a lot or pretty much all with entropy. So let's get into it. So we're going to learn about entropy. Let's do it. All right, so entropy talks, it's kind of like it can be described um, as chaos sometimes. So and irreversible processes. So this guy throwing the bricks, right? It when on the right side, the side that's landing in, you know, unorganized pile and everything, that has a higher level of entropy. Whereas on this other side, on the left side, which is very improbable it would happen that way, has a very um, has a lower level of entropy. Um, and then up here, these dots we see the in the liquid we see that the the right side is has higher a higher entropy level sorry um, it's more disordered because everything's scattered about everything's more spread out and on the other side everything's ordered together and that's why this one on the left is considered a solid because it's separated it's structured it's organized this one on the right is liquid because everything's separated and it's flowing everything like that so um, entropy can be compared to a messy room, okay? When you have a really messy room, you have a high entropy level in your room. And when energy doesn't ever, like, it's never destroyed. And that's part of the first law of thermodynamics. But so the energy it takes to decrease the entropy in this system by, you know, like, organizing it and cleaning it, um, would cause entropy in other areas and its surroundings. So the so again, entropy is going from being structured orderly to you know over time it gets more spread out, more chaotic, more disordered, increasing in entropy. So the second law of thermodynamics is saying that the total entropy of an isolated system will always increase over time, or it can remain consistent in certain cases, which are certain ideal cases where the system is a steady state or it's undergoing a reversible process. A re difference between reversible and irreversible. Irreversible is something like, say you are pouring a glass of milk, right? You can see, you see the, the milk coming out of the bottle but and into the glass of milk into the glass, but you never see that coming back up, seeing the milk come from the glass up into the, the milk jug, right? And so that's why it's an irreversible process. It can only go one way. A reversible process would be like a ball rolling across a table, a flat table. It can go one way, but it can also go the other. So it can go both ways. So that's my presentation on the second law of thermodynamics. Here are my sources. I used Wikipedia um, and then also Google Images for the different pictures. And then also, of course, the modules. I learned stuff in there, but I was just we were told not to. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed my presentation and I'll look forward to seeing you guys next time. Have a good day.